What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Mystic Waters. And today we are playing Ostentatious, Ostentatious, Ostentatious <laughs> on episode Choose Your Story. Let's go ahead and get into it. Episode 21, 21, tw tw 21. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all are having a happy weekend. I am a little under the weather, so if I sound a little off, it's because I'm not feeling too good today. But I had to get a story out for you guys. So excuse me if I sound a little hoarse or if I sound off, but I had to go ahead and do a little story. I know it seems like I'm not sick, but you all, <laughs> I am. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. The month flew. The summer sun burned less brightly as the days shortened and the leaves began to turn. If Killerman Hall was beautiful in the summer, then she was exquisite in the autumn. I loved all the shades and shadows tinting the green with color. Elisa wed Artie and became Mrs. Keeley. She moved out shortly afterwards, very happy with her new life. Oh, snap. The sister done got married, y'all. She a mayor woman now. My father stayed at the house for the remainder of the time. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Oh, um, but luckily now Robert the wretch was gone. He was lapsed on keeping an eye on me, allowing me to walk and venture into the grounds at my leisure. Exercise is extremely important for a young lady, and I was making sure to take my fair share. <laughs> it's getting too cold to be sneaking out for those romps outdoors now. We soon warm up though, do do we not? What? I don't know what I'm reading. <laughs> I, but I cannot have you catching a cold. Two days remain before we are gone, then we must re be respectable. I didn't even know what word was in your lexicon. Oh, that word was in your lexicon. After what you just did to me, behave or I'll do it again. Wicked man, guilty as charged. We stood for another moment, enjoying the last rays of the sunshine. His fingers traced patterns into the sensitive skin on the back of my neck as he kissed every inch of my lips. <laughs> Johnny? Baby. What do you wish for? You? No, I mean, yes, but you have me now. What about after? Are we... Oh wait, after we oh wait, after we are wed and gone, what is your dream? What does your heart desire? I've never had much time for dreams. Don't give me that. There must be something you've dreamed of. Maybe as a child? He looked away for a moment, clearly deep in thought, as he raised his eyebrows pensively. The sea. Pardon? I would like to see the sea. I have never seen it. It is hard to imagine it stretching all the way to the horizon. Oh my goodness, the sea is beautiful. I, I've never left this state for long though. I have heard of it. Perhaps we shall go there. I'll take you on a honeymoon. I would like that very much. With you by my side, it will be all my dreams at once. I cannot wait. He leaned in and gently pecked my lips, trailing kisses up the corners of my mouth. I sighed and lent my forehead into his neck. We should make our way back. Now, the sun will start setting shortly and you must have dinner. <laughs> As we got closer to the house, I felt my resolve start to waver as the fear of the unknown held me back. You, Terry? Johnny? Sweetheart? Will I see you before the ball? I doubt it. You'll be spending the day tomorrow beautifying yourself, and I'll be making final arrangements. He sighed deeply, looking off into the horizon again. I actually wanted to give you something before the ball. This seems like a good, good, wait, as good a time as any. <laughs> what is it? He sighed heavily before rummaging within his clothes. He appeared anxious. Suddenly, he... <laughs> Sorry. He produced a small ring from his pocket as his fingers trembled slightly. Pressing into my palm, I felt a flood of emotions. <laughs> Johnny. It's my mother's ring. All I have of hers. It's worth nothing, but I thought it could be a symbol of our love. If you wear it at the ball, then I'll be with you. While all the pricks dote on you. Nobody's gonna dote on me, for goodness sake. Did you forget what I did? Night. 
I think of it fairly often with pride and a healthy dose of fear. But regardless, will you wear it? Why are you being such a shrieking violet? Of course I'll wear it. I wish I had a coin to buy you a real ring. This is the ring of Mrs. Johnson and Mrs. Johnson is who I want to be. Nobody else. It is perfect. You are perfect. And I swear to you, I will make Mrs. Johnson of you. Or may I never live to see another day. He took my hands and kissed them before pulling me into a tender embrace. Come now, away with you. You'll not come to my room tonight? Not tonight. Be patient, sweetheart. This time in two days we will be gone. Yo, we gonna run away. Yo, we gonna make run away. Sorry, I don't even know what kind of sound I just made. Anyway. <laughs> the next morning I prepared for the full day of torment I had ahead of me. Baby, you must breathe in. I am breathing in. This dress fit you three weeks ago. <gasps> Wait, are we with child? Did she gain weight or are we with child? I didn't even think about that, y'all. Why the dress not fitting? Well, I don't know what to tell you. Perhaps the seamstress sent the wrong one. Baby, what? Do you think perhaps that it could be something else? Like what? Well, I've been in your personal maid almost all this time you've been here. Yes. And you've been here almost four months. Yes. Have you not bled in that time? Penny, we do not discuss, discuss such crude subjects. So you have? I am, no, I don't think so. Oh, baby. What? Do you know what that means? What's what mean? You're bleeding. It is. It is what happens when there is nothing within. Within where? Oh, my God. Baby, sometimes she's just so naive, y'all. Baby, do you think you might be with child? What? I cannot. There isn't. But... You have laid with Johnny many times. Yes, but look at your belly. It's swollen. I had a large breakfast. Baby, you're not being sensible. I wanted to say something before, but now it's obvious. But I can't be with child. We're not even married yet. I was not wed to Robert. I know, but my mind was racing. A child inside me? It couldn't be. I didn't feel any different. A little more tired, perhaps, but I had barely slept in weeks, so excited for our escape. Our escape. A child on the way would mean we would need more money. Oh no. Why do you seem so upset? This is a good thing for you both. We cannot afford a child, Penny. We're about to run away together with barely any money. And another mouth to feed? How will we manage it? You'll find a way. And anyway, babe, babes only need your breasts for the first year. My what? Oh baby, you don't know much about this, do you? No. Oh, God, Penny, how can I tell him? Don't. He will only worry. Wait until you have gone and then surprise him. It's not like you can keep it hidden much longer anyhow. But it must make haste. All right, I must make haste if I am to fix this dress so it fits you. Which one do we decide we're wearing tonight? That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> Damn, they all cute. I like the red one though. The red lace is real cute, y'all. It's real cute. Whatever. Perfect. I'll go let it out a little and add some ruffles. You'll never be able to tell. This is a good thing, baby. You wanted to hear this child, did you not? Wait, hold on. <laughs> I read that wrong. Rewind. You wanted to bear this child, did you not? Yes, yeah, just not so soon. Well, soon enough, you'll no longer be baby with the real baby comes. Johnny will be made up when he finds out. I'll be back later to do your hair. Y'all, made up? I knew how thin Johnny had stretched himself to make enough for us to leave. His nerves hung by a thread as did me own. The anticipation was reaching a boiling point as we stood on the edge of a... What? I don't know. Wait to make the jump. Yoa, Yoa, later that day, Yoa, are we with child, guys? Are we pregnant? Oh my God, we pregnant. See, what did I tell you? It looks for a better now and you cannot see your bump. Shh, who is it? Miss Baby, your sister is here to see you. Send her in, please, Eva. Not a word from you. My lips are sealed. Oh, baby, don't you look beautiful? I'll leave you, ladies. 
Thank you, Elisa. You look stunning too. Oh, we got the same dress on, different color. I can't believe how far we have come to think that the start of the summer, we were both lonely spinsters. And now I am married and you are soon to be married. The last Miss Bradford. We have come far though. I feel there are still miles yet to travel. Oh, absolutely. I'm so proud of you, baby. You have grown up so much. You have no idea. Pardon? Should I tell her? I'm gonna tell her because I want her to, I want her to trust me. <sighs> Look, babe, Elisa, I must confess something. What is it, baby? Is it about Mr. Johnson? Yes. The thing is, I think that I am, pardon me for interrupting ladies, but we must make haste or you shall be late to the pall. How are you going to do your hair, baby? Oh, yes, honey. Should we wear it down, honey? Let's wear it down. What is up with this hairstyle, you guys? I cannot. Anyway. <laughs> How is she doing, girl? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. That one is funny, too. Um, I don't know. What haven't we done yet? <gasps> Let's do that. It's really cute. And then, like, should we change the lipstick? Like, I'm MG. Yeah. Dark moires. Let's do that. We cute. LOL butters, you're so penny. What? LOL butters, you're so punny. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Come, let's away. I can hear the music already. Don't forget your mask. How do I look? Did it really have to be a masquerade ball? They're all the rage right now, and you know what our aunt is like for fashion. Let's see it. Oh Lord, Ooh, so cute. Come, let's away. <laughs> Kellerman Hall was a buzz with guests. Carriages came and went over as a hundred people flooded the hallways and ballroom. I was adrift in an ocean of lords, ladies, and all kinds of gentry. Eligible young men from all over England flirted and danced with the abundance of girls, but as predicted, none dare approach me. I'm sure the tale of Skipton's nose had spread faster than the news of his many bastards, but I cared not. Oh my God, I had my own little bastard snuggled up within, and my only goal was to survive tonight so that I could make legitimate the small life I held tight. You are. Elisa and Keely danced and drank. She occasionally caught my eye and smiled, but I dared not disturb their bliss. In their own little bubble, I envied how easy it was for them to hold hands to kiss and dance in full view of everyone how i wish i could be hailed by johnny tonight he would dance rings all around all these stuck up idiots i found myself continuously checking the clock to see how much longer i would have to endure this hideous display oh lord here she come huh, boo boo ah baby there you are my apologies for inter- oh, sorry. My apologies for interrupting. I just wanted to inform you that all the good silver is now out, ma'am. Thank heavens for that. What would people think of if we didn't have it out? Baby, your father was looking for you. There are some guests he would like you to meet. Joy. Oh, joy. Joy, joy. Sorry. Uh... I wandered away to locate him and saw struggling with his glass getting tangled in his mask. Hang it all. Blast paper piece of... May I be of assistance, father? Oh, baby, there you are. This confounded mask keeps getting caught on the rim of my glasses. Hang it all, a man sh that to be able to drink wine without fashion interfering. I quite agree. Allow, allow me to assist. Much better. Aunt said you were looking for me. Ah, yes, baby. There is someone here I would like you to meet. My gut clenched in fear at the thought of another suitor. But unfortunately, oh wait, but fortunately he drew me towards a beautiful woman in a stunning gown. Please meet Mrs. Elizabeth Cartwright, the wife of one of my oldest friends. Elizabeth's my youngest daughter, Brianna Bradford. Charmed, I am sure, and delighted to make your acquaintance. She took my hand in hers before looking down. Oh, what a beautiful ring, a very unusual design. Are those rubies? I do not believe so, ma'am. It is just a small Bible, Bible, whatever. I blush, pulling my hands away. It looks almost identical to a ring my mother-in-law wears in her portrait. She passed long before I married my husband, though. How is he faring? I know my brother is still with him. He is still with us, though I am not sure for how much longer. 
If you will excuse me, I must refresh my glass. Poor woman, she will lose everything when he passes. With no children, there is nobody to inherit. I believe your uncle is attempting to help him finish his will, but Cassius has always horrendously stubborn. Who? Excuse with more, more, I don't know what the heck. Wait, excuses more, mademoiselle. Hey, I said it. I'll make my escape. Who the hell is this? Like, who are you, B? And why are you talking French? Like, that's probably Johnny, you are. That's probably Johnny. It's Johnny, ain't it? What is he saying? Mm, or I'm terribly sorry. I don't speak French. Jo Shh. I knew it was. He know how to speak French, y'all. He there with me, y'all. Oh, Johnny. Okay, Bill, where's Peter? He usually dresses me. My apology, sir. Your mother has him setting up for the ball, of course. Have you brought me a dram? Aye, sir. Excellent. Jerk. Oh, that's strong. What is that? Not sure, sir, but I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Oh, goodness, Bill, I'm feeling rather lightheaded. Oh, good night, sir. Yeah, is he down? I, yeah, we took him down, took him, took him, took him down. How do I look? You look dashing, like a prick, but what else is new? <laughs> Don't listen to him. Baby is going to be so, so surprised. You two are just full of surprises. What do you mean by that? Nothing, just wait and see. All right. <laughs> are you sure this is going to work? Nobody else there would recognize me, especially not after they've been drinking. I think it's a wonderful idea. So romantic. Well, it's a good thing you are leaving tomorrow. I won't have to suffer any consequences. I don't know how to thank you both for all you've done for us. Pish tosh. This aren't in order. Wait, things aren't in order. Just be sure to write. I should head down there. Good luck. He doesn't need luck. Have fun with your wife. You two deserve it. It's, it's so beautiful. Are we with child? Are we pregnant? I don't know why I'm saying it like that. I think it's hilarious to say it like that. Pregnant? <laughs> I'm gonna start saying it like that, y'all. I'm gonna start pregnant. <laughs> sorry, I cracked myself up. I'm gonna stop. <sighs> I'm sorry. I just, y'all, it's probably not even funny to y'all, but I just be cracking myself up. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, uh, I think I'm hilarious, okay? <laughs> Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. And I will catch y'all on another one. Bye-bye.